Hi Kimberly, this is Long from Jackie Cooper Nissan. I just received your inquiry a few hours ago and uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a few minutes to uh, record a short video for you about the 2019 Road Gun Metallic. Uh, I'm gonna go specifically for that car and uh, this video is gonna take roughly about three to five minutes, sometimes six minutes because it's got a lot of great features and uh, it's gonna take me roughly about five to six minutes. So just bear with me those are really amazing features and i think you're gonna like it okay so let's go outside i'm gonna take a short video tour for you all right kimberly i'm sitting inside of your road uh, i'm gonna take a few minutes to tour around what features this road has to offer just some of those important features that you probably need to know or you're already familiar with this but just in case you didn't have a chance to drive one yet and you know have not have experience with some of these features um, inside this road you have first of all with the steering wheel you have the control modules when you can you know control the volumes uh, the next track of your cd player and of course volume up and down uh, you can always go back to your previous uh, tracks um, and also looking at on the driver on, on the right side you have the um, Bluetooth system voice command using this button you could just you know call anyone that uh, list in your phone list and then once you finish talking just press this button and it will hang out the phone for you and the blue button here is the pro pilot systems what it does is that once you push the button and it is said uh, it's gonna technically allow the car driving itself as long as the, the landmark is visible you know it will be able to drive for itself and but then it, it requires you to put your hands on the steering wheel well, it is not a system that uh, it is, that is designed to be hands-free right and then of course you also have the emergency braking systems where you can set to be how far away um, in case you didn't apply the brakes or anything like that it will uh, it, it will help you in, engage the brakes for you so that it could help to reduce the damages if it has to be an accident, okay? Now, this car's only got about 13 miles. It's just brand new, just uh, put on the lot. Um, and then on the side here, you have the uh, mirror adjustment as well as the memory seats right here, okay? And then you have the blind spot, whereas uh, if, you has a, if you have a car next to yours, it's gonna flash orange to you and if you turn the light against it, it's gonna give you a warning sound. Now I'm gonna take a second to look at the back of cameras. Uh, if I turn the re turn this to a reverse, it will give you a uh, two side, two side of the uh, monitors where you can see the green, the yellow, and the red. Uh, the sound right now that you can hear is a sensor which telling you that you have a very close uh, distance toward the back car so uh, as long as you park right about the orange zone and then right between the orange and the red zone you will be in a good position okay and the, the right uh, view is just a rear view monitors allow you to see a 360 degree front above you have the map which is the navigation systems of course if I press that I'm gonna put this into park once again, if I press the map, it will allow me to see the navigation. I can always uh, click the navigation destination here, and it will allow me to enter my destinations, and uh, that's where the navigation starts, all right? Now, on top of that, you have the doors, the temperatures control. Uh, you can control your own side, and your passenger will also have access to manage his or her, control, his or her temperatures level. Uh, I think it is a very, really nice car. Not only does it offer the back of camera, but it also offers the front camera. As long as you put it into park or drive, you press the button right here and you'll be able to see the front camera. Right now, you'll be able to see the front camera right now. What that does is it allows you to confirm that you are very close to the front uh, car that, that is in front of you. So that way, you don't have to guess no more. It actually lets you know that you are really close to the curve, so you won't have to, you know, um, 
cause any damage to your car. All right. Other than that, I think this is a nice car. In the, the next 30 seconds, I'm just gonna tour around outside so you get an idea how it looks like. Now here you can see the keyless entry right here. Uh, what that does is that right now it is open. But as long as you have the key nearby, all you gotta do is just press one button and it is it's locking for you. The next time, just click button and it will open up for you. I guess the main idea of this keyless entry is just it, it, it is designed so that you don't have to search for your key. Especially if you put your key inside your purse or in your pocket. Uh, you don't have to go search, just push the button, it will, it will open up for you. Uh, other than that, it is a nice car. The key does come with a remote start. As you can see, the first button it is, it is the remote start. Just make sure you lock the car first by pressing this button right here. And then hold the remote start for about 4 seconds. And it will automatically start the car for you. And that will last about 10 minutes, okay? Now I'm gonna come back to the cargo space. Um, this one does come with a tailgate motion. So underneath the bumper, there's a sensor. All you gotta do is just kick it, uh, just like this. Do it quickly, kick it, and it will pull back. And it will automatically open the tailgate for you. That is very useful when you have a, a bunch of groceries or you don't have the extra hand. That is some, some, uh, some features that definitely helps, especially if you have kids and all that kind of stuff. So now you have the cargo space. Uh, look at that. You know, you, you can do many things here, and those seats can fall back. Uh, so I guess this year's will be long, so I already got six minutes. I hope you don't get bored. Uh, with any questions that you have, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Alright?